below the minimum wage. Fortune estimates that this you also didn't keep the payroll records updated and didn't pay some staff for working overtime. You may be quick to argue in defense of Disney. After all, you're not alone in this saga. If the press blew up the report, it would have left an indelible mark on their reputation. The company had all it takes to foot their bills because in 2014, they raised a whopping $2.7 billion in profit. Why did they accumulate this backlog? I guess we'll never know their true intentions. No, uh, five, six. Smell it, sirs. Disney does a whole lot more than we imagine. First, the company manipulates your sense of sight with its magnificent buildings. Then it heads to your olfactory organ to do the most. You may not have heard of the term smell it, sir, but a visit to Disney World would convince you. If you have ever visited the site, you will notice the conspicuous use of this trick on certain rides, like soaring around the world, where you can smell the natural flowers. As you stand in line waiting to hop on the Pirates of the Caribbean, you can't help but notice the scent of salty sea air. The more you inhale flagrant scents, the more your appetite for it increases. If you are intrigued by the aura of salty sea air, the chances that you'll ride the Pirates of the Caribbean is high. According to Walt Disney World for grown-ups, smell are used to pipe in the smell of cookies and candies. As the aroma peers deeply into your nose, your brain tells you that it's time to grab a pack of cookies. This tactic is... Let's push it. Let's head back to the motel, I guess. Head to bed. Wake up in the morning and go to Disney World. Let's head back to the hotel where the school is staying at. Tomorrow is my second day here at Disney World with the school. Bye kitties, bye kitties I guess, I guess I'll see you t tomorrow night, okay, sit down and see your cats, there's actually cats here, like that man was telling the truth on YouTube, like fuck. Look at this, there's heaps of cats. Look at it. Crap. There's heaps of wild cats. Poor cats. I feel sorry. Oh, poor cats. I feel sorry for the cats. But hey, at least they get to live here. I can't adopt them. It, it'll be it'll be too too much money for me. So, you know, nah, I cannot adopt them right now. If I get enough money to, you know, but right now, I'm broke as fuck. I don't have much money. So, yeah. So, I live, live in the mansion. Oh, you know what I mean, but the only reason why I live in the mansion is because me, Kimmy, Katie, Beth, my sister, we are all paying half of the rent. Each. That's how I can afford it. So, you know, that's how he, we can, I can afford it, the place. If they didn't pay rent with me, like if we didn't split, you know what I mean, then it'll be hard, basically. I'll be much like living in, in the ghetto, in the hood, without them. So, yeah, that's why, you know. Here we are. Back at Disney. Hell yeah. Back at the hotel in Disney. Where is this 
to my room. Yeah, it is. Good night, Katie. Good night, babe. Let's head to bed. Okay, it's 7 a.m. See you, Katie. See ya. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. Oh, good. See ya. Beth and Timmy, they, they may be hanging out with their friends or something. So, yeah. Like, you know, let's head to here. Let's head to... You know, let's head to the place, I guess. Let's head back to Disney World. Would you two been smoke for now? <sighs> Here we are. At Disney World. Let's head down there. Head inside. Oh, I got more tickets. I got 33 tickets. Nice. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited to go here. To Disney World in Parks at America. I'm so excited. I'm finally here, my guy. Like I'm finally here. I'm so excited. What like, crap. I'm so excited. Let's chill somewhere in the park. Hmm. Let's chill down here where I normally chill at. Let's chill here. Not here, but down here. Ehew! 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 Shit! Fuck. There we are. Let's chill, yeah, here. Right before. Okay, let's press play on the video. I told you that it's time to grab a pack of cookies. This tactic is to entice you not only to take a ride, but enjoy other perks that come with it. Ride, eat, and be happy. Indeed, you can agree that Disney is the happiest place on Earth. Number four. People have died there. Remind me again, what's Disney's slogan? The happiest place on earth, right? Maybe that is true, but are there sad moments in the park? Certainly. Unfortunately, that doesn't change the slogan. Visitors and employees have died in Disney World. 
and the company is not shifting grounds on its claims to 100% safety. They still maintain their crazy safety statistics to the detriment of unsuspecting parents. Not only is the fact that people die, but they have also lost their lives in awful ways. Some years ago, a two-year-old child was killed by an alligator. There's also a nine-year-old child devoured by an alligator, and another man struck by a derailed train car on the Big Thunder Railroad. Employees are also not left out in the killing spree, as most of them are victims of machines malfunctioning. As always, the company doesn't blow things up for reputation's sake. It is unwise for parents to visit the park and feel so comfortable about their false security claims. The happiest places on earth can put you into perpetual mourning if you don't take responsibility for your family. Number 3. There is a mysterious Disney Island. Most Disney fans know about a Discovery Island that focuses on rare birds and fauna. The park was closed in 1999 in anticipation that it will be remodeled and then reopened. However, the plans were postponed indefinitely due to events surrounding 9-11. I'm sure why did not allow guests to access this place, but I guess it's one of those facts that are best left unsaid. According to a report, visitors to the Disney's Discovery Island enjoyed the amusement park home to more than 600 native and tropical birds. The park also featured bird shows, a walk-in aviary, and a flamingo pool, but the company could not protect the animals from real-life villains. In 1989, Word got to the authorities that employees and visitors were shooting, beating, and destroying bird nests. After investigation, Disney was charged with 18 state and federal counts of bird abuse. They paid a whopping $95,000 in out-of-course settlement. It closed its doors to guests in 1999, but the old park's ruins still stand firm. They were not allowed to swim or travel by boat to the island. Therefore, many other secrets would be left uncovered. Now it's time for today's best pick. If you have ulterior motives visiting Disney parks, you should have a rethink because Big Brother is watching you. How do I mean? You'll understand better as you continue watching. Number 2. There are secret police roaming around the park. The presence of Art Smith, the secret helps children and adults alike. Before we move on, I have a little challenge for you that will take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. Leave a like on the video, smash the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And you'll get 25 years of good luck. Sure. Try it. It really works. Sure. Number 1. It is tough to be a Disneyland employee. As a child, you probably envy the characters in Disneyland and hope that one day you'll wear the Mickey Mouse costume and make children happy. Forget the fairy tale scenery and all the razzmatazz that come with it, because things aren't as juicy as they seem. If you have a flexible job schedule, you're lucky. Count your blessings and thank goodness that your dreams never came true. Accounts from previous Disneyland employees show that working in the theme park is the worst thing after 9-11. They say that workers must be excited at all times, which is a horrible situation for humans primarily because of our unsteady emotions. You're not allowed to say no to a guest no matter how crazy their demands are. It's also taboo to sit down or take a few seconds of rest while on duty. If you're caught pointing at something with a single finger, you'll be shown the way out. Until 2012, male staff must be neatly shaved as beards were forbidden. Before 2001, employees wore only Disney-approved underwear. Would you survive a day with all these stringent rules in place? I guess not. No. Do you still want a job in the happiest place on Earth? Although humans lay claim to a level of perfection, further research shows we are far from being perfect. Now that you know so many hidden secrets, which one of them sent chills down your spine? Tell us in the comment box below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. What else should I watch? Fuck off. Be it in the Shawshank Redemption, Prison Break, or Chicken Run, film and television has long made breaking out of jail look awesome. But the reality is that it's much tougher to break out of a uh. maximum security prison than the films make it look. Not that anybody told these people who broke out of prison in ways you wouldn't think of. There's probably no prison quite as famous as Alcatraz. It's literally been referenced in The Simpsons. And if that's not the peak of iconic, we don't know what is. While there were several attempted prison breaks from Alcatraz, none are quite as legendary as the one that went down in June 1962. For those unfamiliar with Alcatraz, this maximum security federal 
Forty percent. How much if I do family family insurance? Six hundred thousand. Oh my god. You know, fuck you guys. Fuck you. Going back to the garage. I'm not insuring this thing. All right, it was nice. I'm selling it. I'm selling this thing. It's not worth it. Honestly, I'd love to keep it because it's so fast. It's one of the only cars I have that can push like two hundred like easily. It's got the twin turbo shit. It's a nice. It's an AMG. But the thing is, why would I want a one point five million dollar car if the insurance costs fucking so much money? Now you guys may be thinking, oh, that's only like six hundred dollars. You read it wrong. No, Byron is right here. That is six hundred thousand in this game. Fuck that. I'm gonna run out of gas if I don't get there. By the time I drive this home, I will be on empty, and I don't want to get shot again like I did in fucking gang life when we tried that. In case you run out like me because you like to be a cheapskate, buy your gas from the hood, see look at what's going on. Now that is a prime example of what not to do when being a gang member. All right, Angie, you're going in the garage, and I'm putting you on the auction board. Fuck you. I will find an I'll buy another RX-7. Honestly, insurance on that is like $40,000, and then the car itself is like $450,000. I could sell this thing for probably, it's got some mods, I think. I don't know. I seriously don't know what I've done to it. We'll see. Someone will probably buy it, so I can just get some money, and I'll be good, and I won't be as broke as I feel, even though I have so much more money than a lot of people, but you get the point. We get 15 grand coins by playing another three and a half hours. Oh. The engine upgrade is like 500,000 or 400,000. It's ridiculous. Everything on this car is way overpriced. It's like, it's literally like real life. For this car, the parts are like damn near what the car is worth. It's like, no. Back to what I was saying, uh, Rockstar, release the goddamn deal. See, if you're not gonna, like, if you're gonna keep blocking the modders from getting their money and everything, like me, because I was stupid and showed my name a few, honestly, they just targeted me. Someone either reported it or they fucking, they just found me and they did some shit. I don't know. There's always those scumbags. There's no that out there who are just like, damn, I just clicked on a modding video, even though I don't like modding. So let me just get mad. Like, that pissed me off. I swear to God, there's this fucking dear uh. collection. That's all I'm gonna say. Rockstar, please, for the love of God, give it to us. Please, I, I don't want to beg, but, like, give us a new DLC. Give me something to do. You give us something to do twice a year, which is ridiculously low. I know it's not that hard. You guys probably have all these canceled DLCs that you already developed that you can just throw into our hands. We'll be happy. Yeah, and you guys are probably like, oh, no, let's sit on them until PS5 comes out. Fuck you guys. If you guys don't have, like, ray tracing and everything, like, I seriously don't think you will. Nobody's gonna buy that shit. All these people play are PS5 players. The Series X players sure as hell. Unless they're new to GTA, they are not paying $60. It costs $60 for that enhanced edition. If it's an FPS and resolution upgrade, nobody in their damn mind would pay that. It literally costs 10 bucks to play on PC. Better graphics, better FPS. Like, it would make zero sense. They're lucky that Microsoft doesn't allow you to use your PC library on your console. Because if they did, that would be the end of GTA making money. They also should because fucking Microsoft isn't even partnered with Rockstar. Rockstar's partner with Sony, so they might as well just be like, hey, fuck you. Give us a new goddamn game, and then you can basically yeah. go. And I still have this one star. Oh, my God. I was going to say Rockstar, take it away, but Rockstar doesn't, like, own this. So that wouldn't exactly make sense. By the way, guys, isn't the new DLC, like, cars? Like, it's just new cars, and I'm sure if it's new cars, that means races and everything. And I'm I, that's pretty much all I've heard. So if it's only that, what are they waiting on, man? It's not like it's going to be some groundbreaking thing where the game can't really perform. If it's cars... It's like the lowrider DLC. It's not that crazy. You can just throw it in the game. Well, if they're faggots. Fuck gangs on this game, man. Fuck them. Kick me out because I went to jail. All right, guys. Um, so in my view that I've had throughout this video, I thought I'd let you guys know. I'm going to try and upload, like, Monday through Friday from now on just because I'm playing so much RP and I want to get... Or maybe even Monday through Saturday. Maybe not every Saturday, but I would like to do that some weeks so that way I can do so RP videos enjoy. when I want and you guys won't get too tired of them. And then that way I can also do regular GTA Online videos so I can play, like, PS5 and all those other stuff and be like, okay, it, it's all good. Okay, our car is now black. It looks better than the white, but I can't afford the paint job, so we're just going to have to glitch it like this. Too bad it has no insurance. Yeah, I love you. You cost me no money. Rob them and 
stuff like that, you already know the deal. Technically, they don't know the rules, so if I get caught, I go to jail, but that's okay. It's fine with going to jail. This will be more fun than just driving around and doing nothing, so I'm okay with that. By the way, if you are new to the channel and you'd like to stick around for more Grand Theft Auto content, hit the like button, sub button, notification bell, to get all the future videos. I will have another video out tomorrow, by the way, guys. Like I said, I'm trying to get at least five videos out a week now. I had something happen where I wasn't able to actually upload the other one to complete five this week, so you're going to get another one tomorrow, and then we'll restart on Monday. So we'll go from there. Yeah, we're gonna do a few RP per week, and then we're also gonna do a few regular GTA Online. Maybe we'll throw in a story mode in one of those. We'll see. Here we are, the train station. Are they still getting dropped off here? What are they doing? Okay, it doesn't seem like they're getting. How does it work when you first get into this server? That's what we got to figure out because they have the hotel here. So when I first started playing this server, they got dropped off at that train station. Now I don't know when they get dropped off. I also have this backpack, so that's another giveaway. So we got to be very careful. We honestly might just have to go ahead and just rob some taxi drivers. Now if they're not here, the first place they're gonna be is right down here. Gotta get your driver's license to go anywhere on this game. It's absolutely essential. You really can't have it, otherwise you'll be running around the whole map and then you will be very upset and probably stop playing the server altogether. We're going to head on over there, and then we will definitely find people over there. As you guys remember in the last video, we had a lot of newbies driving around when we were trying to get our driver's license. Oh, I heard an explosion. That was a chopper. Someone's trying to get their pilot's license. That's not going so well. Yep. That huh. may fail. Wait, wait, wait. We have nobody here. Really? I... Why do I always go into the wrong seat? I might as well just be the newbie today, honestly, because I just always get into the wrong seat. So if they're not here, where might they be? Just the question. This is, like, weird. We have 500 people on the server. So we're going to go to the... I forgot what it's called. It's like a fucking secretary of state. That's essentially what it is. Oh, shit, there's a person right there. Yo, not a newbie at all. Gang. Oh, these are fucking construction workers and Bugatti sheets. How much do they get paid? Here it is. Oh, they're going. We gotta take our... Wait, we don't have to take this mask off, right? COVID? I'm vaccinated. I think. Probably. I don't know. Did I get the shot on this game? Who knows? I could just ask him. Yeah. What the fuck are they doing? Alright, I'm just asking, man. I'm just asking. Here, brother. Oh. Um, uh, just trying to... They didn't even suspect the thing. They're probably going to wake up to the news and be like, oh, we got an armed robber out in the streets on the fucking server. Honestly, I would not be surprised if it's that deep. Uh, on your they didn't even suspect the thing. They're probably going to wake up. Then you move on. There we go. I'm sorry. You stop off. I'm okay. Uh, I got a question. You got a yeah. Where do the new players spawn? I'm trying to find my kind. Post they didn't even suspect the thing. They're probably going to wake up to the news and be like, oh, we got an armed robber out in the streets on the fucking server. Honestly, I would not be surprised if it's that deep. Uh, I'm just trying to work out how to get a driving license. Oh, I can take you to get one. So you new to town, man? Just, just flew in, brother. Oh, yeah? That's nice, that's nice. So it's your first day out here, I hear. First two minutes in here, brother. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> We're about to wrap this shit out and get by the location. Just trying to uh, take it all in. There seems to be quite a lot going on in this city. It sure does. Gotta make a pit stop real quick. Like, yeah, no problem. Put a mask on. Put a fucking mask on. Put a mask on. It's very clean, though. It does, it does. Um, I have... I got a question for you, man. Come on. How, how much money do you have? <laughs> you got two options. Alright. That's not gonna do me much, so you gotta drop your pants. Damn! <laughs> okay. That's time, my bro. Uh, thanks so much for robbing me and bringing me. You're welcome. By the way, it costs 500 for lessons. Alright, guys, it looks like the next stop is gonna be a taxi driver, so we're gonna go to the parking garage. That is a location I used to rob people at sometimes. I'm not actually, you know, I just snitched on myself, whatever. You guys now, oh, there it is, right there. Let's turn around. We're gonna go to the top. When we go to the top, it's perfect, because they don't really have too much to do. It'd be a lot more difficult, because we're on our own. We don't have someone to box them in like me and Jake usually do. We made an order, wait for the acceptance. Yo, man, I'm up here! Don't leave! Don't leave me! I'm coming down the stairs! I'm coming down the stairs! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Leave! Don't leave! So are you are you new to this taxi gig? Yeah, kind of. How long have you lived in Los Santos? I think we've been 
for about uh, five days or so. Okay, all right. Five uh, days. I'm get the <laughs> I don't think he suspects anything. Honestly, I, I don't. I don't want to just shoot him, but just do it at the same time. He's talking about learning, so it's like, does he know? Like, does he know the rules? If I'm not supposed to rob him, I can go to jail. But honestly, like I said in the video, fuck it. Just go to jail. I don't have enough. I don't have enough. Oh, I ran out. Oh, shoot. Um, I could give you, like, some clothes. I only have 12 dollars on me, so... We're not in the city. Being fishing. Fuck, we have enough bullets. We have enough bullets. We can get mad. I don't know if we can. I don't know. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Honestly, if I get... Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Oh my gosh. Now the question is, what do we do? Because <laughs> if I get banned, that will suck. But at the same time, I don't know. Then again, a few of the ads have watched my videos, but like, it's either going to be good or bad. Because like, the others will be like, what the fuck, man? He said he wasn't going to do anything, though. Fuck out of these shit. We lost our one star. I noticed that. Alright, now we look good. Now we look normal. Alright, we got to ditch everything. They cannot do it. They're not capable of doing it. Alright, what we're going to do is the gun. We never had this. We never had this gun. Fuck it. We never had these pants. We gotta get rid of the pants we stole. Right, let's get the fuck away from that box, too. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we'll have enough. Hang on how much you... Okay. It doesn't matter. Oh, shit. What do we do, man? What do we... Do? Okay, so that's... He's new. See, the question is, did he have his body count? Did he? Because if he did, we're fucked. I've done some bad things in this server. I've been in admin jail a lot. Uh, uh, two times, I think. And I've been in normal jail plenty of times. You know what, guys? Like I said earlier before, if I ever get banned from this, it's... I don't know. I don't know. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. You know what? I, I think we gotta end it here. We don't have enough money to get another cab or anything. We don't have a car either. I should've probably got some cash out. I don't know. Thank you for watching. This is the last RP video you see on this channel. It was a good run. <laughs> and thank you, guys. Alright. Thank you. If you would like to see more Grand Theft Auto content, hit the like button, sub button, and notification bell to update all the future videos. And uh, thank you for watching. See you guys whenever I see you guys. So I'm all right, guys, we're back. All right, so if you did not see last video, we made a trolling video, and we are on Grand Theft Auto RP, and we may have bent the rules a bit and shot someone. Now we are waiting to see if we get banned or not from the server. Now, it was for video purposes, so maybe it will cut us some slack. I don't know. No, I'm recording this immediately after just because maybe we don't get the chance to record this if I don't do that. So, um, let's go to the first floor. We spawned in the hospital, so if you guys remember, I died at the end of the last video. If you didn't watch the last video, go check out at least like the last like two minutes of it to understand what's going on. But anyway, for my new viewers here, if you're new to the channel, like GTA Online content, or just GTA in general, hit that like button, sub button, okay, we'll see all the future videos, and yeah, that's that. Let's hop into this video. I'll just type hot speed. Hopefully we get the same cab driver. You might be off. I don't, I don't think so.